This is great. Welcome to Jimmy Kimmel Live. All right. Thank you for clapping, even though most of you have no idea who I am. <laughs> Guillermo, do you even know who I am? You're the guy from the internet, right? <laughs> That's good enough. I'll take it. Well, my name is Mark Rover. I'm an engineer. <laughs> I worked at NASA for nine years helping with the Mars Rover. I worked at Apple for four years designing products. And now I have a YouTube channel, which sounds a little like I traded a Tesla for a pair of rollerblades. <laughs> But I love it. I make videos that combine science, engineering, and pranks. And at this point, the channel has over 22 million subscribers. Here, here's a little sampling of what I do. This guy took a package from my porch, but what he doesn't know is this is a custom-built bait package that is recording him on four different cameras, and it's about to unleash a pound of the world's finest glitter, along with some other surprises. Surprise, mother <laughs> Everything to my left is my attempt at making a squirrel proof. This is the world's first ever actual pool of jello. Hit it! He <laughs> built a very powerful t shirt cannon. There's one! last one at home or anywhere really because you will go to jail. <laughs> a majority of my fans are ages like 5 to 25 and they're usually pretty pumped to meet me. But anyone older than that always just assumes I'm a cashier at the Gap. <laughs> so I wanted to conduct an experiment. So we went to the farmer's market here in LA to talk to people of all ages to see who would recognize me and who would not. What's up guys? You know who I am? I know. You know? Who am I? You're a scientist on YouTuber. Yeah, what's my name? YouTuber, Mark Rover. This is Mark Rover. Mark Rover. <laughs> do you know who I am? Yes. Grandpa, do you know who I am? No. Do you know who I am? Uh, no. Not actually. No. Not actually, OK. No. No, I do not. Based on how I look, what, do you, what would you guess my occupation is? An assistant? Accountant. Barnes and Noble. A uh, service guy here at the farmer's market. A <laughs> service guy. Like a skateboarder. Maybe you work in a bookstore. A bookstore? Like Barnes and Noble? Like Barnes and Noble. <laughs> like Barnes and Noble. Okay. I'll give you a clue. Uh -huh. uh, glitter. Um, um, fart spray. Uh, no? Fine. The fart spray didn't do it? I punish people sometimes who don't do the right thing. Uh, a teacher? A <laughs> teacher, that's right. <laughs> Yeah, what kind of school did you go to? Toothpaste is a clue. If I say squirrel, that's pretty much a dead giveaway. You're into BDSM? <laughs> squirrel? Got you. <laughs> My, I'll give you the biggest hint. My name is Mark Rober, so. So who's Mark Rober? Mark Rober. R Rober. Rober. Yeah, yeah, with a B. OK. You have your phone? I do. Let's call one of your kids. Hey, Trent. What's up, Trent? <laughs> Can you give her a hint as to who I am? She didn't know who I was. You, you're the guy that does all the, like, the science experiments. There you go. This is Mark Rover. And go YouTube he, he's, superstar. He, he's sensation. Probably the most famous person that I know. He's an engineer who has a YouTube channel. Do you have a lot of watchers? I do. Do I have a lot of watchers? Yes. If you had to guess how many watchers I do have, what would you think? 10,000. 10,000. Actually, a subscriber, like 22 million subscribers. Oh, my God. So 
I'm kind of a big deal. Okay. Have you heard of Jimmy Kimmel? Yes, I've heard of Jimmy Kimmel. Who do you think is more famous, Mark Rover or Jimmy Kimmel? Jimmy Kimmel. Yeah. Because you don't know who Mark Rover is, do you? No, I don't. Okay. So while this is my first time hosting a talk show, I've actually been working on a really fun series called The Revengineers, which is coming to Discovery this fall. So on the show, on the show, my crew and I, we use engineering to make the world a better place by punishing troublemakers who violate social norms. So for example, if someone doesn't return their shopping cart, we make an army of remote control shopping carts to chase them down. <laughs> It gets better, it gets better. Because if they don't pick up their dog's poop, we build an autonomous robot dog to launch it back at them. <laughs> this needs to be done. This is a service that needs to happen. But just like on my show, I like rewarding people who do the right thing. And I wanted to do that while I was hosting tonight because honestly, people doing the right thing is rare, especially here on Hollywood Boulevard. <laughs> So we set up some ridiculous situations on the sidewalk in front of the theater here where various people who needed assistance could see if any good Samaritans would stop to lend a hand. In this first one, we set it up where we have a kid giving out free carrot samples and we told him that he pretend dropping his mom phone in like a giant vat of ranch dressing. So what do you guys think? You think anyone reaches in to help him grab it? No. All right, let's find out. Oh man, I forgot something in my car, here. The Jackson, I'm trusting you. Right. Anything happens, call me, okay? This is my other phone. I will. All right. See you later. All right. Oh, shoot. Can you please help me get this? Oh, sir, sir, can you please help me? I just dropped my mom's phone in this bucket of ranch. Please, no. Sir, 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 please. I'm good, man. Sir, vacation guy, can you please help me? I dropped my phone in here. I dropped my phone in here. Come on, man. I know you can hear me. Come on. I just dropped my mom's phone in here, and I really need some help. Oh, can you please help me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want me to get it? Yeah. Are your hands clean? Okay. Okay. Dude, dude, thank you so much. Give me some. But isn't it creamy? Yeah. You're a really good Samaritan. Pretty good. Yeah. Have a great day, mister. OK, so in this next one, we had a guy walking around with like a giant fish trying to get someone to hold it for him so he could answer his phone. How about this one? What do you guys think? Is someone going to help him? It's a big fish. Let's see. Uh, could one of you hold this fish for me? I got to get this call real quick. I just do you want to hold the fish? Batman, please, please, can you help me out here just for one second? Just, just, just really? Oh, oh, sorry. That is a hard no. Okay. Hey, guys, can you, you don't eat fish. I don't need you to eat fish. I just need to hold it. I've got to take this. Does anyone have arms? Does anyone have a soul? Can you hold this fish here just for a second? Just for one second. Yeah, here you go. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Honey? Yeah? One sec, one sec, just stay right there. He said what? Triplets? I'm gonna be a dad! I'm gonna have triplets, I'm gonna have triplets. Oh my god, oh. Okay, I'll get, I'm gonna get you some chocolates. Hold on one second here. Stay, stay, hold on. Oh my god, oh my god, oh god. Hold on, I wanna get some cigars. Stay right there, hold on. I'm gonna be a dad. I'm gonna be a dad. Oh my god! Oh, oh a picture? <laughs> All right. Should we do one more? Okay. That's a good choice, because I think this one's my favorite. We had one of those sign spinner guys, right? You see him outside of the stores. He was dressed up as a penguin, and he said he really had to use the bathroom. So we asked someone to fill in for him while he went in and did his business. And this is how it went. Uh, I really got to use the bathroom. Hi, sir, 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 could you help me? I, I... All right, good talking. 
Man, oh man, do I need to use the bathroom? Hey, excuse me, sir. Could you help me out? Um, I, I just need to use the bathroom and like, uh, bro, I, hi, um, I really gotta use the bathroom. And, yeah, and um, if my boss comes out and sees that I'm not in the penguin costume, he's gonna get really mad. Could you put on the costume just uh, just for a minute? I'll I'll I'll, I'll be really fast. Smells bad. No, it's, it's, it's brand new, brand new. How much time? Uh, like two minutes. I'll I'll be fast. Okay. Oh, awesome! Thank you what so much. What do you want much. me to do first? Oh, actually, unzip me. If my boss comes by, his name is Terry. Terry. And just tell him he has really nice hair. Hair. Okay. And just try and spin the sign while you're here. Oh, okay, sure. great. Thank you so much. I'll be right back. So what are you doing? I said dance. You gotta dance more. I hired you to spin the sign. You gotta spin it. I paid for spinning lessons for you. Spin the sign and dance. Okay, I, I uh, like your hair. Oh, th thank you, thank you. Thanks, Nelson. Yeah, I just had it done. Thanks for noticing. Dance and spin, dance and spin. Thank you. Unbelievable. Thank you so much. I really... See oh, no. God is you. What happened? Say dance, dancing. Dance, was dancing. Your, was your dancing not good enough? No, he liked it. He, I said, he, oh. I said, like your hair. He's oh, okay. Great. He went away. Everything's okay. Oh, good. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right. We actually have all three of our Good Samaritans in the audience with us tonight. And you guys don't know this yet. But I'm about to potentially reward you for your act of kindness. Come here, follow me over here. Stand right here. Okay, so name-wise, what do we got? What's your name? Henny. It's Kevin, but I go by Henny. Okay. Henny. <laughs> Henny. Menachem. Menachem. Samantha. Samantha, okay. So here's the deal, you guys. Right now, I'm gonna give you guys a chance to win some money. And because I'm hosting the show, we're doing this Mark Rover style, which of course means we gotta use some explosives. <laughs> use some explosives. So as you can see over here, there's three items and they're covered up. All right, Guillermo, unveil the first one. That is a bowl of nachos. <laughs> okay? The second one is a wedding cake. And the third one is a watermelon that says $15,000. <laughs> That's a clue. I'm gonna explain why here in a second. So you've got these detonators here and each one is connected to each of those items over there. But the thing is we got this jumble of wires here so you don't know which goes to which. Does that make sense? Yeah. So here's the challenge. The three of you guys have to work together and you have to pick which detonator you want to push. If you blow up the cake or the nachos, then your prize will be blown up cake or nachos. <laughs> Not that amazing. But if you blow up that watermelon, the three of you are going to split $15,000. <laughs> I'm basically Oprah at this point. That $15,000, I might add, was previously owned by Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> looking through his desk. You guys understand the rules? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, so the audience is gonna count down from 10, and then when you get, they get to one, you guys have to have major choice, and you have to, you have to detonate it. If you get the watermelon, you get the $50,000, good? Okay. All right, let's put 10 seconds on the clock. Audience, it's gonna be loud, you're gonna wanna plug your ears. Here we go. 10, nine, you guys gotta choose. We got to choose. Two seconds. Pick one. Pick one. This one. Congratulations.
congratulations to you. On top of that, I actually have one more surprise for you guys, which in my opinion, honestly, is better than the money, because I'm going to let you blow up the cake and the nachos anyway. <laughs> so does he that one? We'll be right back with Debbie Lovato, so stick around. Oh. Ta -da -da.